um, I've had my experiences with Drew, and, I, and, and he knows that I tell some of these stories, so it's nothing that uh, I don't think I'm telling out of uh, school. But I, I remember the, the night I helped Drew unpack his real life sex dolls. Um, Drew had ordered these, what, uh, they were on a Howard Stern show, I think. They were called real life sex dolls. And they were like, I don't know, $5,000 a piece, I think, but they were like the most real life. And he came in at the writing room and said, uh, you know, he'd ordered these and he ordered four of them because it wasn't, one would be creepy, but four was sort of like more of a motif that he could put around the house at a party. And so at the end of the day, he came in the writer's room and said, I'm, uh, my car broke down. Will somebody, you know, uh, give me a ride home? And I was like, yeah, I'll give you a ride home. And I think Diane was out of town, so I was like, I'll give you a ride home. So we drove home, we lived up in Nichols Canyon. And uh, we get to the house and he, we stop the car and he goes, uh, you want to see the dolls? And I go, yeah, sure, why not? And we go in and this house was sort of a square and in the middle was this outdoor patio. And in the outdoor patio I could see four huge wooden crates and uh, two crowbars on top of the one of the rolling crates, one of the crates. And he goes, ah, his assistant was supposed to unpack them. And they, she didn't, she, apparently she was like, yeah, they're, it's up to you. And so he's like, I'll unpack them. And he starts hacking away at this crate. And I go, I can see him injuring himself. So I'm like, no, I'll help you. And I pry open one of these crates and there's a sheet of opaque plastic there. And I tear through it and there's a woman sitting there, basically, in lingerie and looking like, you know, that kind of three quaalude look in her eyes. And they're, you know, just strapped down sitting there. And the first thing I said to her was, uh, don't worry, your family will pay the ransom, we'll get you home right away. And, uh, and so we take these dolls out and they're solid rubber. They're like a hundred and, I don't know, 20 pounds each or something. And it's like carrying a dead person. We take them and we carry all of them to the couch. And now I'm just, we're just both sitting there, you know, just breathing heavily. And he drew, and it was a, I think it was a De La Hoya fight on that night. And Drew goes, uh, you want me to order the fight? And I'm like, uh, yeah, sure, order the fight. So he orders the fight, we're watching the fight, and we're sitting on the couch, and it's me, a doll, Drew, a doll, watching this fight. And as we're watching it, Drew goes, uh, you know, I was invited to the uh, Playboy Mansion tonight, but I didn't think we could get out in time. And I'm thinking, I could have been at the Playboy Mansion?